all right guys so in this session we are going to talk about deduction oh sorry not deduction but uh, detection detection of duplicate cases now see um a lot of situations arises in the actual uh, world basically where we want to identify whether this is a duplicate request duplicate complaint right or not right for example if you are sending out um, a request for address change right uh, you might have done that once from one channel and might have forgot about that or don't know if it was submitted and you might try doing that again so system should not take two requests basically that that's not good for too many ways first of all there will is going to be plenty oh sorry duplicate actions second of all that duplication might uh, basically increase uh, another complexities or create another complexities within the system so in pega we do have a way to figure out if this is a duplicate case or not of course you will have to define the criteria to uh, figure out um, or to basically um, mark a case as a duplicate so how do we do that that's what we are going to learn today all right so we have this loan application case type right and we are actually submitting the application okay so if a customer let's talk about that if a customer is submitting a personal loan application okay with the same amount maybe in the same month or uh, on the same date or in the same week most probably that's going to be duplicate one isn't it most probably this is going to be a duplicate case so how do we get uh, that sorted out how do we basically um, make sure that we prompt there okay or uh, this is this seems to be a duplicate case for you you already have submitted such application so that's what we are going to learn now okay here we have a huge case the customer id is very important the loan type if customer id and loan type matches um then probably we can say that this is a duplicate case but this should be um basically taken into the consideration of a given duration as well okay well uh, if you open the case um, designer you should do that the duplicate check just after customer submits the details right so we will add a step okay it's not possible to add from here because it's okay what we will do is uh, address detail okay so i will open the flow and add to that from the flow itself okay um, you can by the way add it on the normal if it's not uh, if it's not uh, screen flow if it was process flow you could have added that like this duplicate there is a shape available in pega see search duplicate case this is how you configure it select it like that and then of course you will have to add the condition and all that but i'm not going to add here i'm going to add it during the form submission and just after the address just after the customer info okay so plus sign we can still add this is an automation um and this is such duplicate cases shape after the customer information has filled we're going to land on this check if this is a duplicate case or not the same configuration that we saw on the case designer will be available here too so oh sorry that status will not be so i will just submit this and save it screen flow can only call other screen flow yeah that's the problem this is a screen flow so we will not be able to do it here okay um, well in that case what i'll do is i'll add another process parallel to that not not parallel sorry new process right after this tube check and here i'm going to add that duplicate check duplicate is search selected so
add basic condition so we will see okay one more thing guys when whenever you pro you are prompted with the list of uh, properties and all that if you don't see your property that means your case your property is not made available to uh, pop up in that drop down how is that done there is something called relevant record we will talk about that later as well uh, basically here just an introduction when you mark any property or any rule as a relevant that is marked for selection at any drop down or from the app studio so these are all relevant properties but i was looking for the customer id and uh, uh, basically loan type i'm not seeing that because those properties are not marked as relevant so let's go back to the loan application customer id in the loan application let's mark that relevant so that it pops up there um, customer id so you open that property go to the actions and mark as relevant that's it similarly loan amount mark as relevant loan type mark as uh, relevant now this will pop up here add basic condition so customer id is same so the customer id must be same then only this is the must meet condition okay we will say if the customer id is same then only go ahead and uh, check for the duplicate if the customer id is different then there is no way right that this is going to be same so this is the must meet condition then you add weighted condition in the weighted condition you will say that okay if the loan type if the loan type sorry of the current case uh, loan type of this uh, potential cases potential duplicate case many uh, means all the existing case if the loan type of that is equal to the loan type of this case the current case being created um, existing value not existing value uh, another no same field actually current case of loan Type. so give it uh, that means that it is 40 percent possibility of um, having to uh, basically duplicate okay there's 40 percent chances i mean up to 100 it can be okay then add one more better if the amount is also same if the loan amount is also equal to the loan amount actually another field select loan amount this way we will do it the same thing then there is another 40 percent chance of having a duplicate it cannot be more than 100 and you say that if the sum of these are at least let's say 50 percent that you will mark it as a duplicate case you find these these conditions are evaluated if this is true that weight will be added this is to that bit if you get 50 percent matching i mean you you have those condition evaluated and more than 50 percent then there is a chance of having duplicate case let's see I'm going to create a loan application for C1. And uh, it is going to be loan info personal, no, car for 50,000. Car 50,000. Address created. See? approval we landed on approval no potential duplicate flat there were, must not have been any now if i raise another one for c1 again car and again 50000 continue continue see 
the system automatically flags that up says that this might be a duplicate case l10 it matches that right you can have a link of this one so see this is the problem what happened this matched the customer id matched the must fill the loan type is also matched the loan amount also matched that's why you got it so aggregated score is 80 40 plus 40 and you only needed 50 to mark it as duplicate case okay you can choose to resolve this case you can close this case as a duplicate or you can ignore and continue with this current case if i say resolve you duplicate with l1 l10 and you can resolve it now because that's okay okay so refresh sorry correspondence is being sent that's why it was locked okay good now if i create another case for the same customer this time i will also have the same amount the car account and amount is going to be no, not put this time it is going to be 51000 55 okay that's fine it's not matching see uh, when you submit this you don't get any duplicate call because you only got 40 the loan type was only true and if you do the same thing for the our different customer you will also not get because customer is a must match right if i do it for the c2 the loan type is again car only and 50000 that's where we got the duplicate earlier right so not be because customer okay not c2 okay submit it See, no, no, no marking for duplicate. Now, if I try doing the same thing again for the C2, your business will tell you basically what is the criteria to identify the duplicates and you need to know how to configure it. See, potential duplicate. okay because it matches this c2 c2 car car and this 50,000 amount so you get 40 40 weight score remember it should trigger only when this is same this is must meet condition then only you check for the duplicate otherwise if this is not same these conditions are not evaluated because this is must match this is must meet and these are weighted you might have multiple such fields and you can have them their own betters and calculate them this cannot be more than 100 okay so that's how we identify potential duplicate cases and the actions that you have either to ignore and continue with the current case or you can close the current case and mark it as a duplicate with one of those existing cases and that's where it concludes